Title, Watergate 2.0, Splashy Showdown Unleashes Chaos in Kosovo Parliament. TL, DR, in a water-based ambush that's more kindergarten than parliamentary, Kosovo's Prime Minister Alban Kurdi found himself in a literal hot seat after opposition lawmaker, Mirjam Lushtaku, chucked a glass of water on him during a speech. The aquatic attack led to an all-out brawl, sparking chaos and making global headlines. No sippy cups for politicians, anyone? The not-so-great splash took place in the hallowed halls of Kosovo's parliament. The victim of this aquatic assassination attempt was none other than Prime Minister Alban Kurdi, who was passionately expounding on his government's plans to simmer down tensions with ethnic Serbs in the north. Was it the heat of the speech or just Blush Taku's need for a summer splash party? We'll never know. Kurdi has been under fire, or should we say, underwater? From Kosovo's opposition parties, who believe his policies in the North have put the nation on a slip and slide with key Western allies. The US and EU are both pushing for Kurdi to chill the situation, especially after a violent outbreak in May when local Serbs and Kosovo police clashed, injuring many and raising flashbacks of the 1998-99 conflict that saw more than 10,000 casualties. On Water Splash Wednesday, Kurdi declared a reduction in special police officers hanging around Serb-majority areas in northern Kosovo, and announced new mayoral elections in the towns. But the opposition wasn't thrilled with his backpedaling, accusing him of jeopardizing Kosovo's international standing with his experimental approach. Are they just salty or do they have a point? In an unprecedented, and not very parliamentary, move, opposition lawmaker Mirjam Lashtaku approached Kordi mid-speech and threw water at him, triggering a political brawl that would make a boxing promoter proud. Was it a statement or a poorly timed thirst-quenching effort? You decide. As chaos reigned, Cordy was escorted out, leaving us to wonder whether the water splash was just a distraction or an indication of deeper political waters. Is the Kosovo parliament turning into a wrestling ring, or is this the splash of democracy in action? Cordy has reiterated his commitment to upholding law and order in northern Kosovo, deploying police and appointing new ethnic Albanian mayors. His efforts, however, have not gone down well with the US and EU who've urged him to keep the mayors at bay until tensions cool down. But what's a PM to do when the temperature's rising and there's only so much water to go around? Kosovo, formerly a province of Serbia, declared independence in 2008, a move that many Serbs in Serbia itself have yet to recognize. Backed by the US and most EU nations, but opposed by Russia and China, Kosovo's statehood remains a contentious issue. Could this latest splash be a sign of more turbulence in the Balkans or just another tempest in a teapot? So, our dear readers, what do you think about this parliament-turned-pool party? Is this a watershed moment in Kosovo's politics or just another day in the world of democracy? Is it high time politicians learn to swim, or do they need to stop making waves? Over to you. Disclaimer, this news report is purely informative and does not offer any form of advice or endorsement of any actions taken by the mentioned individuals or governments. It is solely intended to present the facts and provoke discussion around the events described.